How many phases of the menstrual cycle can you list? Kudos and bonus points if you could list all four. My bet is going to be, unless you're pretty clued into the menstrual cycle, you probably could pick out two pretty distinct ones. The PMS phase, where you're feeling pretty cranky and just kind of pissed off at the world, and the bleeding phase. In today's episode of Girl Meets Body, we're going to go through the four phases of the menstrual cycle so you can learn what they are and why you should even care. So the first day that you start bleeding starts the first day of the menstrual cycle and the first phase of the menstrual cycle, which is, surprise, surprise, the menstrual phase. This is a time of turning inward with your energy. This is a time to really rest and nurture your body. Bleeding can be a really energy intensive time of the month. This part of the cycle usually lasts from anywhere from one to seven days. Typically it's about four or five days. If you wanna learn more about this phase of the cycle, just check out this video all about the menstrual phase of your cycle. Now if you're paying attention, you'll start to feel a shift from the menstrual into the next phase of the cycle, which is the follicular cycle. You'll kind of feel maybe around days five to seven, a slight shift in energy. You'll start to feel less kind of hermity and inward, and the energy will start to rise, facing both outward and also just your physical energy. You'll start to feel like you wanna get out of the house more, that you're ready to start exercising again, and maybe even that you're ready to try something new. Now the second phase of your menstrual cycle, the follicular phase, is when the body's preparing a new egg to be released. During this part of the phase, you should have good, solid energy, and it should feel pretty easy to stay focused. Check out this video for more details about this phase of your cycle. As you reach days 10 to around 14 in your cycle, you should start to feel a shift from the follicular to the ovulatory cycle, which is moving into the third phase of the cycle. What you're gonna look out for here is slightly diminished focus, this doesn't mean that you're not focused on your work. It just means that during the follicular phase, you are hyper, super, duper work-oriented and focused. But I noticed that there's a few days in between follicular and ovulatory that I start to feel like, um, I start to feel like I'm craving some more social interactions. I find myself texting with friends more on my phone or spending more time on Facebook or Instagram and not actually sitting there focused on my work. Whereas during the follicular phase, I find that most of the women that I work with are super focused on their work and able to get a load of stuff done during that follicular phase. The third phase of your cycle is the ovulatory phase, and this is when the egg bursts out into your fallopian tubes in the hopes that it will get fertilized, which means that nature pulls out all the stops to make sure that you get pregnant. If getting pregnant is your aim, this is the perfect time to get busy. If you are not trying to get pregnant, this is the perfect time to make sure that you are taking all of the precautions that you need to to make sure that you don't get pregnant. Energy-wise, the ovulatory phase is super social, outward-facing, vibrant, and vital part of your menstrual cycle. This is most likely the time of the month where you feel the best about your body, about your skin, about your figure, about yourself. Your self-confidence levels are higher. You may even feel a bit flirtatious. To find out more about this phase of the cycle, just check out the video right here. Around days 14 to 16, you might notice, again, a shift in the energy. For me, it feels like the energy kind of moves inward slightly. I'm not as social as I was before. I'm starting to look at my calendar and the things that I said yes to and thinking, mm, I don't really think that I want to go to that, or I don't really think that I, I kind of wish I didn't sign up for that. Whereas a few days prior in my ovulatory phase, I was like up for everything. So when you kind of feel yourself in that, moving in that direction, you sort of know that we're heading towards the fourth phase of the menstrual cycle, which is the luteal phase. This is the time after your body's ovulated, and if you haven't gotten pregnant this cycle, then your body starts the process of trying again. Hormones fluctuate, plummeting and rising throughout this time of the cycle, which could lead to PMS symptoms and mood swings. 
To find out how you can support yourself during this phase of the cycle, check out this video about the luteal phase right here. In addition to mood swings, you might find it pretty difficult to concentrate this week. So I like to schedule some small menial tasks throughout the week rather than things that require broad thinking or any kind of focused decision making. As the luteal phase draws to the close, around days 26 to 28, I can also sense a subtle shift in the energy as I feel myself heading back towards the beginning of the cycle with my menstrual phase. Usually that comes in the form of physical symptoms like breast tenderness or maybe some mild cramping. I also notice it in my actions. I personally get a bit of a nesting phase in these few days and I feel this intense urge to rearrange and reorganize and clean up my space. I think that on a deeper level, this is a preparation for moving back into the bleeding phase again. Almost like how a pregnant woman has the urge to nest a little bit before she gives birth. I find that as women, our bodies also have a craving for nesting before we bleed. So you may find yourself on days 26 to 28 around there, depending on how long or short your cycle is. You may find yourself craving to clean out the junk drawer, make sure that your bedroom and your clothes are organized, and get yourself organized for the month ahead. So now that we're back to day one again with the start of the bleeding, if you want to see that playlist of all four of the phases of the cycle in more in depth, you can check out this playlist right here and it'll take you to all four of those videos. And if you want to learn more about your cycle, how you can have happy, healthy, balanced hormones, then I think you're going to love my Unlock Your Cycle program. You'll find the link in the description box below. If you liked this video and you've learned something, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel because Girl Meets Body is introducing you to your body one episode at a time and I don't want you to miss anything. Lastly, if you like the t-shirt that I was wearing in this episode, Period Power, you can find this and a bunch of other really cool t-shirts in our shop, Girl Meets Body. You'll find the link below. You can find this in lots of different colors. All of the t-shirts on our YouTube channel are completely shoppable, so if you see something you like for yourself or a friend, just check out the shop down below. Once again, I'm Nicole Harlow, founder of the Center for Menstrual and Sexual Health, and you're watching Girl Meets Body. Thank you so much for spending time here with me, and I can't wait to see you on the next episode. Bye! <laughs>